Good afternoon, everyone. I have a special guest today. I am joined by Cristela Jimenez, one of our game day employees here at Dillard University. So first off, Cristela, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How about yourself? Doing pretty well. Um, how are you handling this whole social distancing thing that we're all going through? Oh, it's kind of difficult. Um, you know, I'm an outgoing person, so I like to go out. So it's, it's been hard staying at home. Um, but I have a part-time job right now, um, so I'm working on that and trying to manage my online classes. Sure. Um, what is your part-time job? I'm currently working at U-Haul in the office, you know, helping people uh, get their moving trucks, storages, and stuff like that. Sure. And um, where are you originally from, or where are you, where are you uh, located at the moment? Um, Dallas, Texas. That's where I'm from. Okay. And how is your family doing? They're doing good. Um, they still have jobs, of course, so they're taking care of that. Um, and of course, they're having a difficult time trying to adjust to the different changes that we're going through. Makes sense. Makes sense. The um, reason we were going to talk to you today is you are involved with women's leadership. So how'd you get fir first involved with that? Oh, uh, it was, uh, I started off with my mentor, Dr. Kiki Barnes. Um, she recommended me to attend to one of the um, symposiums that we're going to have, one of the biggest events that we're going to happen in um, Arizona. So I ended up going and um, ended up meeting a lot of wonderful people and made so many connections. We had like different events that just um, pretty much, you know, you get a different side of what it is to be in the sports industry from the woman's side and how to handle certain situations when you're stuck. So that's pretty much how I got involved with uh, women leaders. Okay, and um, obviously here it's kind of different with the symposium being, it was going to be obviously in person, but now it's changed to online. Um, so, you know, and they're still getting you details about that, but it's supposed to be coming up, I believe, at the end of April. Is that correct? I believe, yeah, it was um, April 22nd, but the first event that I attended was in Arizona that was going to happen. And we actually did end up going, I ended up going, I believe it was on September okay. when I went with Dr. Barnes. Um, so I did have that experience. And I ended up signing up for a different symposium that's gonna that was gonna happen in Kansas City. Okay. Unfortunately, you know, I was gonna I'm not gonna be able to attend due to what we're uh, you know what's happening right now. But um, they are having a virtual um, event online, and um, I plan to attend it. So. Awesome, awesome. So um, well, let's see. Uh, we can get into um next is um obviously you know this is women's leadership. Um, what are your future goals? What would you like to do once you graduate from Delaware? Of course, I plan to attend uh, graduate school for the sports management program I plan to attend. Um, I just received my letters, uh, my letter of sentence from um, Texas Women's University, so I'll be attending Texas Women's University after Dillard University. Congratulations, congratulations. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, will that be uh, next fall you'll be starting there, potentially? <laughs> yes, hopefully, hopefully. If everything <laughs> sits back in place, uh, I'll be starting uh, next fall. Sure. And um, what would you like to do, um, you know, once you go get done with graduate uh, uh, school um, and get your master's degree, what would you like to be involved with? What aspect of uh, athletics or outside athletics or what, what, what role, you know, if I ask you, what is your ideal role or, uh, for yourself in the future? So my career aspiration is to actually be an athletic director. Um, so after attending um, actually the symposium from um, Arizona with uh, the women leaders, I was able to actually make up my mind exactly where I want to work, what environment, and exactly with what type of people. So at first, you know, I, I was work, working with my mentor, Dr. Kiki Barnes, and I told her, you know, I really want to be an athletic director. I aspire the person you are, and I love the way you are. And at first I was like, I really want to be in the college athletics. But based on my experience, I think that as an athlete, because I did end up coming to Dale University because I received the scholarship. So that's how I started and I met Dr. Barnes and I wanted to get involved in, in the sports setting and said, you know what, this is the career for me. I want to be an athletic director. I think I want to go into the college athletics. But after going to the Arizona um, event with the women leaders, I actually realized that I think I have a great message to give out and I want to be an athletic director more in the high school setting okay. as in okay. the minority communities and stuff like that. Fantastic. And you briefly mentioned that you're involved as a game day worker. I did too. So how, how'd you first get involved or even hear about the opportunity to be a game day worker? Okay, so it was really hard for me to get involved because uh, I was currently playing volleyball and uh, I decided to give up uh, playing volleyball my second year of college. And I actually missed being involved with athletics. So I ended up going uh, 
out to Dr. Kiki Barnes' uh, office and said, you know, what can I do to get involved? I want to be something related in my career to athletics. So she said, why don't you come and shadow me, become, you know, the sports management manager, uh, manager uh, and actually, you know, set up the game, try to see what you can help me around here. And that's how I ended up pretty much helping in the athletic department and it becoming a family. Fantastic. I know you've done a lot of different roles. Um, as you know, our game day workers, they tend to do a lot of different things. But what was your favorite thing that you've done as uh, one of our game day workers? I would say meeting a lot of people, you know. Um, I met so many people from different schools, got the chance to meet um, just so many people in there, many connections I made. And a lot of students from there I got involved that I didn't even know from many majors. And just meeting new people was pretty exciting for me. Okay, and um, how about, um, and this could be you know, athletics outside of athletics, um, you know, what, what's your favorite part about being, a, you know, a student at Dillard? What has been the best experience you've had in that regard? I would say um, it's, it's a way different experience being in New Orleans and especially going to HBCU school. I would say different culture and I gained a lot from it. So I had a different whole side about it. Okay, and well, this you know, I've grilled you on a couple of difficult questions, so we'll try to get some easy ones for you. And these are kind of get to know you questions. Um, so, Crystal, what's your favorite movie? What's my favorite movie? Ooh, <laughs> I would say, uh, Grown Up will be okay. one of them. Um, how about uh, do you have a favorite TV show? Ooh, I have a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, I have All American, I believe that's about the football player. I just got done watching it. And they're making a season three, so I'm excited for it. Um, another one, oh, The Walking Dead. That's one of my biggest ones that I love. I love The Walking Dead. That's one of my favorite shows I watch with my family. So we're, we're still waiting on the next season, too. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, how about uh, musical artists? Is there any that kind of, uh, you know, like that you really enjoy more than others or musical acts? Um, um, no. Um, when it comes to music, uh I'm all over the place. I mean, you know, um, I'm Mexican, so um, I like Spanish, English music. I'm just all over the place with my culture. Okay, that's fantastic. How about, um, you know, you mentioned that uh, you got into a couple shows. Um, how's, how have you handled your, um, you know, transition? I know obviously you have your online classes, but, you know, as far as you have some additional free time, how are you handling your free time? Is there some additional shows you've gotten into as well or different activities or things that you never thought you would do before, uh, you know, this whole social distancing started? Oh, it's been hard trying to stay at home. Um, I've been working out with my mom in the backyard. That's something new that we've done since the gyms are closed. Um, so, yeah, that's something new. Um, like I said, I just got done watching my uh, the new season, too, from uh, All American. So now I'm trying to find a new show, so it's been kind of hard. <laughs> Is, is there, uh, would that be something that you're going to suggest uh, to people in the future if I asked you, what was what one thing that, uh, you know, you could, what show could you suggest to someone that you just picked up during this whole social distancing? Would All American be the one that you go with? Yeah, it, um, it shows a lot. Um, you have the sports in it, family issues in it. It's just a lot, but it shows you, if, if you're really like into sports, I feel like that's the show for you, All American. It's a really good show. Well, I appreciate the opportunity to catch up with you and uh, stay safe throughout this. And um, best of luck, obviously, you know, throughout the summer, stay safe. Um, as I know that, uh, you know, eventually we're all going to be able to get back together, but it might be a little while. So, <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Christelle. Thank you for the time today. Thank you. You have a nice one. You too.